So we have e to the x, e to the negative x, and 1, right, Ben? And the question is if they're linearly independent or dependent. It looks like they will be independent because um, it doesn't seem that e to the x and e to the minus x will be connected otherwise, especially to a third constant. So that's why it would be safe to take the wrong skin here. Okay. So uh, so then let's just do that. So the wrong skin of a 3 by 3, this will be the first row will just be the functions themselves. You know how to evaluate the determinant of a 3 by 3? Yeah, you do the top and then you cut to the, well, you do the top and then you do the, uh, the bottom, the bottom two on the right and then the middle. Right, and, the and, two on the and actually what we're going to do here, let's be smart about this because one will generate derivatives a zero. Yeah. So you might as well go about evaluating your determinant using the third row that has the zeros in it. So you don't have to do much algebra. Right. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Um, yeah. You need to leave out the third row. I'm, I'm saying put the one first then e to the x second, then e to the minus x third. Right. And then the the derivative of 1 would be 0. The derivative of e to the x would be e to the f. And the derivative of negative e to the x would just be negative e to the negative x. And now you can take the derivative of the second derivative, basically, which is another 0. And this one would be e to the x. And uh, you multiply here again, so you get e to the negative x. Yeah. Now, when we go about evaluating the determinant, we usually cover um, we cover first row, first column. Yeah. And we say it's one times the derivative of e to the x minus e to the minus x e to the x e to the minus x, right? And then we say minus, we cover the second row, first column, and then we multiply the determinant of whatever that matrix is by 0, but that doesn't matter because 0 times that would be 0. And then we go on to the third element, which is again 0, and we cover the third row, first column, and we take 0 times the matrix of that, but it doesn't matter what that matrix is because the answer is 0. So in that way, you would have evaluated only one one determinant. Right. Uh, right? So then uh, the wrong skin will be e to the uh, e to the zero, right? Because e to the x times e to the minus x is e to the zero minus minus plus e to the zero. So you would get one plus one. So you would get two. That doesn't, so this is completely independent of x, that's equal to 2, and therefore, uh, therefore, they are linearly independent. Right? Therefore, um, e to the x, e to the minus x, and 1 are linearly independent. Do you get that? Do you have any questions on this process? Is there any way would, to be able to figure out like which ones are dependent, which ones are independent, and if it's like a large like four or five of them? If you had like like um, four or five.